Good morning. It's Friday, August 11th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Anatomy of a Journey. And our scripture is Psalm 105. All this happened so they would follow his decrees and obey his instructions. Praise the Lord. The psalmist traces the steps of Joseph, beloved son of the patriarch Jacob. His brothers sold Jacob like a piece of cloth to a band of nomadic traders headed for Egypt. There are enough plot twists and sub-themes in this rags-to-riches success story to make any Hollywood screenwriter drool. However, the message isn't just about Joseph's perseverance through hard times and prevailing through the unjustness of power structures. The story of Joseph is a version in miniature of how God does what humans do not understand, particularly those who don't know God. It's a microcosm of spiritual warfare in which God's power, often working behind the scenes, is worked out despite whatever the forces of evil can manage against it. And it all happens to the glory of God. Have you ever imagined of something that is, in your limited understanding, incredibly unreachable? A dream job, a home with thousand acres, a body that doesn't sag here and there, deep breath without pain, world peace. Your version of that story has you in the middle of it, and that is exactly what is so wrong with most versions of Eden, the perfect place with everything just right. That dream hardly starts with a group of Ishmaelite traders taking a load of gum, balm, and aromatic resin from Gilead down to Egypt. Most dreams like that have the end result as a starting point. We picture ourselves in the lap of luxury, white sandy beaches, palm trees, gentle breezes, and a coconut pina colada in a hammock. In truth, Life may start out gently, a calm, favored child status, Andy and Opie and Mayberry, if you will. But life is hardly tame. Life's journey has its twists and mountains, times of up, down, and blindly sideways. Some stuff is mundane and predictable, like what to eat for breakfast or getting that bill in the mail or inbox. But the kind of day that starts off with... There was a mistake on your account, or the test result may have been incorrect, or I wanted to help you, but... And then the all-inclusive promise of doom, I've decided you aren't. Well, those are the excruciating days, resume of Joseph kind of stuff. You get set up by kin or friend, let down in a pit, sold out to the highest bidder, and assassinated by behind-the-back gossip. It's easy to draw the cynical conclusion that Mayberry was a conspiracy theory in reverse. It was Alice in Wonderland's dream, and you are the Mad Hatter, off to a very important date with your own demise. It must have seemed that to the disciples when the healer of Galilee was condemned to die. He'd preach the good news of God as blessing. Land of milk and honey and all the tears wiped away. He had told them of life eternal and all your dreams come true. Then he was betrayed, belittled, beaten, and nailed naked to crossbeams on the town garbage dump. There wasn't even enough left in the purse that Judas had emptied to buy him a grave. It was a borrowed tomb. Now, This kind of post-mortem is hardly an advertisement for that thing you get told as a kid. You're beautiful. You can do anything, or it'll all work out in the end. By the world's standards, your beauty will fade. You'll find out some things are way beyond your skills, and how it all works out is way beyond your pay grade. For you today, if you're tracking with me and I haven't got you lost yet in gloom, despair, and agony on me, go just one step further than Friday's darkness-laden cross and tomb. Go all the way to Sunday's bright revelation, He is risen. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.